Up next on Sci-Fi Annecy, stripping chrome parts. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnnecy.com and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to strip chrome parts from your kit. I know there's not a lot of sci-fi or fantasy models that do come with chrome parts, but the occasional one is here or there. Why do we strip the chrome parts? Mostly because the chrome looks like crap. On a lot of the models it does. It doesn't look as well as some of the chrome paints that you could put on there. Plus another thing is when you do cut a lot of the chrome off, where the stub is that was holding it onto the sprue, you're gonna see the undercolor. It's either gonna be black or whatever the color that styrene was cast in. So then it's hard to match up that chrome. So you're better off just getting rid of the old chrome and putting on that better chrome. Just make your model look a little bit better. So I was going to use Easy Off Oven Cleaner, but I really hate that stuff because it really stinks. It does the job, it really takes the chrome off and you know it leaves it nice and clean but it does take a while and it's it's kind of dangerous to use so today we're going to be looking at this product super clean now this isn't my idea any video i do that is not my idea i'll let you know i've seen this on a bunch of videos and i figured let's try it and see if it really works so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the bench and test the product out so today we're going to show you how to go from chrome to clean in less than five minutes so this is what you're going to need to remove the chrome from any piece of styrene or any other plastic piece that you have in a model kit. You're going to need the super clean. You're going to need a container to keep the product in. You're going to need your piece. You're going to either need a toothpick, an X-Acto knife, tweezers or something because sometimes you got to bop that little plastic down in there because it does like to float. And also a paper towel to dry it off once the piece is out. Okay, so we're going to dunk the piece in. And hopefully nobody calls or texts or anything like that while we see how long this is going to take. So, one, two, three, and we'll drop it in. And that's it. Two and a half minutes to get all of the chrome off, as you can see. Now once you're done with the piece, all you have to do is dry it up, bring it to the sink, run it under water, a little soap, make sure it's all cleaned up, and you're ready to go for primer and new chrome. So today our little experiment worked. I did not know about this product. Maybe some of you did. I know Simple Green does work and the Easy Off, but the Easy Off, like I said, if you can stay away from that stuff, it's dangerous, you can't reuse it. At least this you'll be able to reuse until the product actually breaks down and you'll be able to see that once the chrome is not coming off anymore. So another new tip and something else to get for the modeling bench. You can actually pick this up at Home Depot, Walmart, or you can order it off of Amazon. It took me a little while to find this one. I found it at a Home Depot way away from me. So just look around, you'll be able to get it. You may have to order it online, but you can get it. Thank you very much to everybody that's been subscribing to the channel and hitting the little icon. We really appreciate it. You're helping the channel grow, and that's a great thing. Uh, hopefully I'll get on a build soon instead of all the reviews and the little tips and tricks. This, we're gonna keep up with both of those, but I need to get on a model kit already. So. I shall see you all soon. Thank you very much for watching another video and take care and bye bye.